Sometimes we want to send our document out for comment. If we send our document out for comment, people are able to make comments in Word. For example, if I click here, just after Region 3, I might go to the Review tab in the ribbon, and here's the option New Comment. If I click this button, I can add a comment. I think this should be Region 4. I might also click here and add another comment. Now you can also, besides using the button New Comment, you can use the shortcut key combination Control alt m You can also right click and insert a new comment this way. I'll add another comment. And at which point I could then send it back to the person who sent me the document. The person can click on a comment and then they can make a reply. For example, the whole idea is once I send the document back, I want to be able to move easily between the comments. To move between comments, you have got a next button. And as you click the next button, it just moves to each next comment. You've got a previous button. So you can easily navigate to the next comment and the previous comment using these buttons here. You can also use Control G, which is short for go to. And you can choose comment on the left hand side. And you can choose which reviewer you want to move between their comments. You can move just by hitting the next button and the previous button. You can also just simply use a plus to move relatively forward or a minus to move relatively backwards. And close. If you wish to print your comments, you can also do that simply by going File and Print. It should automatically print your comments. But if it doesn't, just check that under Print All Pages, you have got it ticked Print Markup. Print Markup, or also List of Markup, will print your comments. At the end of the day, we decide to act on those comments or not, and we decide to delete those comments. You can just click on a comment and you have the ability to delete a comment, or if you hit the drop down here, you can delete all comments in the document. So I'll delete all comments. Now if I am sending out this document for people to make comments, I might want to make it that they can't change the document in any way. All they can do is add comments. To do this, on the Review tab to the far right in the Protect group, you've got a button called Restrict Editing. And if I click this button, I can tick this option here, Allow only this type of editing in the document. If I sent it as no changes and started enforcing that protection, then the person would not be able to make changes to this document. It would be reader only, and they'd only be able to read it and print it, and they wouldn't be able to take the protection off unless they knew the password. But what I want to do is hit the drop down, and I do want them to make changes, but those changes that they can make are only comments. If I choose comments, and then I go yes, start enforcing protection, I can put a password. For example, I might add the password Mars in lowercase, because it is case sensitive, and then I re-enter Mars, M-A-R-S, to make sure that what I entered in the first box matches the second box, and OK. If I then close the Restrict Editing pane, they can't do anything to this document, except insert comments. Once I get the document back with all their comments and their suggestions, then I want to unprotect the document, so I click on the Review tab, the Restrict Editing button. I click the option at the very, very bottom of the Restrict Editing task pane called Stop Protection, and I provide it with the password, in this case Mars, and OK. That then unprotects the document, and I can now read their comments and act on their comments. And ultimately, once I've done my changes, I will delete all comments.